And while well, India has made a breakthrough in agricultural science by releasing the world's first genome-edited rice varieties. Now, the move is designed to boost yield and to improve climate resilience. The two new varieties that are Kamla, DRR100, and Pusa DST Rice 1 were launched on Sunday and are expected to increase per hectare yields by up to 30 percent while maturing 15 to 20 days earlier than the current strains. They also require less water and emit fewer greenhouse gases aligning with sustainable farming goals. Union Agriculture Minister Shivrat Singh Chauhan said that the varieties will take around four to five years to reach farmers now following the standard seed certification process. However, efforts are underway to fast-track their availability. These are not genetically modified organisms. They were developed using genome editing techniques that do not introduce foreign genes. It makes them more acceptable under existing regulations. India previously exempted certain types of gene-edited crops from the country's strict GMO laws, paving the way for this innovation. Now, the varieties were developed by the Indian Council of Agricultural Research by improving two widely cultivated strains, Samba Masuri and MTU-1010, to enhance their yield, drought tolerance and pest resistance without sacrificing the grain quality. Now, field trials show Kamala delivered 19% more yield than its parent, while Pusa DSC Rice 1 recorded up to 30% more yield, depending on soil conditions. Now, the project is part of a broader 500 crore rupees initiative by the Center to promote genome editing in agriculture. ICR says at least 24 food crops and 15 horticulture crops are in various stages of development using similar techniques. Initially, the new seeds will be distributed through state-run agencies with India, also planning to apply for intellectual property rights for the varieties.